This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, we are ready to analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. What's up? Hello. How are you What's doing? Good? Well, how are you? You Jealous look nice. Of this hair. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> very soon, <laughs> very soon mm. okay yeah cool very soon mm. you're trying to figure it out too. no no i'm not trying to no i just know it's ladies talk i can't yeah. i can't, mm. I, can't, I, can't, I, can't I can't keep relate. up mm. Mm. okay cool um so let's start with this one on um nollywood actress kemi lala akindoju she has expressed displeasure over the Actors Guild of Nigeria's visit to the home of its member, Regina Daniels, following the birth of her child. She took social media to call out the association. According to her, the leaders of the guild should show leadership on pressing issues like navigating the industry with COVID-19 and creating structures to stop sexual harassment in the industry. She questioned the guild's priority, insinuating that this might be the reason she's yet to join the AGN. In her words, quote, this is actually shameful. End of quote. Is it? When money works, what's that what thing? So when money works, something speaks. Men speak. I feel like that's what's happening here. I don't think this is about money. Ha. Huh. It's about what? Um. So okay. So is it? Let's start from asking this, asking ourselves this simple question: mm. Is it wrong? For the AGN to pay a courtesy visit not. to their member that had just put to bed. Absolutely no, but not. from from the response, I don't think that's something that happens. Um, Mona Lisa has actually come out to respond to this, and she mm -hmm. said, "This is what happens. I mean, when you're part of They've an association, they to... go to burials, they go to. So this is looking like a big deal because it's Regina Daniels, and, and because it's anytime Nenimoko. it's yes, Regina it's Daniels, it becomes a big deal. But this is something that the associate. This is her response on the screen, and she highlighted the things that being a member of the association. Oh, Mona Lisa. Yes, mm -hmm. you know she's a P PRO of the association. Yeah. So being a member of the association actually guarantees that you get this form of support. Whether you're celebrating, they celebrate with you. Mm -hmm. If you're mourning, I mean, those are two things we cannot escape in life. Yeah. They mourn with you as well. So um, I, I don't know why Kemi would want to go at them. Yeah, obviously, I that can way. understand why Kemi would want to it go. Looks, why, though? It looks because, bad. Because um, we also need to remember that good news travels, no, bad news travels faster. And when it seems like someone is doing something that isn't nice, that is when the eyes are actually on them. I follow um, the Actors Guild of Nigeria page. I also follow so Emeka Rulas. I follow Mona Lisa Chinda. Mm. And... Um, throughout this whole pandemic, we cannot say they have been quiet. Even mm. if um, on this table we have questioned some of their, their, some of their uh, actions and inactions yeah, and all that, sure. but you cannot say they have been quiet. And mm. um, was it yesterday or this month? It was yesterday as well that he posted how they are now in collaboration with a medical... Um, it, it, they are basically supposed to pro provide medical insurance for the association mm -hmm. and they've been able to sign that collaboration with some organization to ensure that. And other things they usually post to say this is the progress of what we are doing with the association. So you not being a member of the association, it's I, possible that you do not have enough information regards, regarding what they do or how I they do it. I would push what yeah. Lala said aside completely because mm -hmm. everybody knows where she is coming from. Yeah. Everybody feels like it's for financial support, it's for sponsorship, it's for this because Ned is involved. Now you guys are beginning to kiss people's behind so mm -hmm. that you can get some kind of favors. Now that's the general perception of it. But like you rightly said, if you're not a member of the association, of the guild itself. You probably wouldn't know what they're up to. You wouldn't know what they're beginning to do differently, how they're beginning to support their very their own and all of that. They said they went to two burials. They supported the, um, during the COVID-19 pandemic. I know they said some people should send their account numbers and they will send money to them. So they're beginning to infuse humanitarian stuff into the same. guild. So. Yeah. It's nothing different from what, but because mm. it's something they're just starting, think, a lot of people they, are beginning to see yeah. it like it's because of uh, you people are just beginning to kiss people's behind and because of Nedun Woko is involved. And maybe it's quite a stretch for you to name a baby Nollywood baby of the year. I think that's quite a stretch. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. Um, I, I think it's because people, when you see that, that picture you can't, or that video, you can't help but think if she wasn't married to a billionaire, would, would they? Ha would you still go? Would they? Would a just a normal 
Jesse, Re Regina Daniels with the achievement and the duration of time that she's actually been in the industry, um, do you think that there will still be all this attention with lights? There's obviously lights and cameras, flashes through the video. So, you know, it was paparazzi. Like, do they do that for every single other member? Hey, well, that's a question that, of course, should be answered. Mm -hmm. So, um, if... How do I put this now? So, um... I bet Regina is not the only one that's given birth recently. That's what I'm saying. That, that's it. something that I would she, hope that if that there are other, other members yeah. of the association that have given birth or celebrated something that is worth celebrating with them and the AGN did not come out to support them, I think this is the right time for them to probably send a letter to Mona Lisa or come and call them out openly as well to say, nah, this is not what we do and you people have not been doing it. But based on what she has said, she's saying this is what they do. And uh, because it is a Regina Daniels, now this is not just about AGN. We are Nigerians and we know how things work. Mm. So if, um, for example, I mean, I don't know if Genevieve is part of the association, but this is an example. Yeah. If Genevieve Naji has something to celebrate mm. and um, is a member of that association, and let me even use myself as an example. I myself I, am now a member of that association and I have something to celebrate. Mm. The paparazzi and the attention mm. that an AGN going to visit a Genevieve will get will be quite different, different yeah. from what me will get because what makes her myself in that league then if it's not for ned if you have followed i think even the mother has been actively involved in agn and some of the things that are going on in the entertainment industry and so you will course, not blame them course, so i just feel i mean let's not even course, make it look donations like i'm trying made. if i just know about donations <laughs> if, if kemi saying. wants to talk about donations maybe she should come out straight and talk about donations exactly but what she's yeah. talking about is them going to visit her when they have yeah. other things and i'm saying you can pay attention to other things and still visit the members of your association yeah. when they have something to celebrate. That's what but, I'm saying. But, but like I said from the onset, there's absolutely nothing wrong. And this is how it should be for each and every member of the association. association yeah. That is when you give a little celebrate, even if a, an Emeka Rolaz cannot attend himself, somebody let, some, let somebody yeah. represent him, let people go, let them know you care, let them know that you're a member of this association for a purpose and we're out there and we're out here for you. That's just the basic thing. So it shouldn't be a big deal in court, but obviously we will make it a bit. It's not, not out of the fair. ordinary. Can you like personalize it's, your it's talk not, when you're Okay, talking. okay. It's not out of the <laughs> ordinary for anyone right now okay. to make this a big deal, knowing that an Edun Woko is involved. Okay. Okay. Um, you want to say something no. else? All right, moving on. Um, Nigerians always disregard the importance of therapists, and this is coming from ex-beauty queen and founder of Dabota Cosmetics, um, Dabota Lawson. In an Instagram post, she said, and I quote, if only people knew how important it is to see a therapist once in a while. Nigerians especially disregard the importance of therapists. Sometimes trauma from childhood, teenage, and the early stages of your adulthood can really affect you. Some people don't even understand why a particular word when used in reference to them triggers ill feelings, end of quote. She went on to say, a good therapist will really do a lot of good for you. Yeah. I totally agree that um, therapists are really underrated in this part of the world. And sometimes a lot of people feel like when you're talking about therapist, it means you're cuckoo. You're not cuckoo. You just mean... <laughs> <laughs> Which one is cuckoo? <laughs> <laughs> but, but really, you're not. You just need to speak to somebody. Now, there's certain things that I would tell you, or I would tell you that you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. You probably tell me in the nicest way and not and be a bit biased. But if I go to a therapist, she or he is going to tell me exactly how it is. Like, brother, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. This is how I see it. I think you are deranged. I think you have something. I think there's something wrong with you. You know, it's going to tell me in the most straightforward way because that's what professionalism is all about. Tell me how it is and let me know how to deal with it. But if I tell a friend, everybody, because I went to the comment section, a lot of people are saying our pastors are our therapists, our mothers are our therapists, mm. our fathers are our therapists. It's not about that because your father will tell you in the most in, in the nicest way possible, but your mother will possibly tell you in the nicest way possible. But your therapist is getting paid for that. So the therapist will tell you exactly but how But they are not necessarily mean people anyway. You're making no, you don't them have sound to. No, like no, no, I don't mean mean. I and just they, mean they, they actually use honest. the sandwich method a lot. So they will, they will yeah, actually they, get they, you to a place where you are very comfortable. You, yeah, they they butter tell, you to you open up yeah. so that you can actually dig into whatever it is. And then when you finally is. open up and you turn and say, brother, 
<laughs> yeah, the no, 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 not exactly. They kind of try to um, they tell you, the tell you how your past is. or whatever your experience is actually influencing your actions right now and how you can walk your way around it and not be a nuisance yeah. to the people around you and even to yourself. I They'll let you know how that childhood experience has affected you and this is why you're asking did you go to a therapist? <laughs> well, I've been to a therapist to like twice. And ah. so I know what I'm saying. And I went mm -hmm. on my own. I didn't and get again, nobody took okay, me I think there. I not to because I was cuckoo, I but because I needed to speak to somebody. Not, we have heard you are not cuckoo. Because you're acting cuckoo, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I like the part where she says when things happen to you and you don't even understand. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed here... I would say Nigeria because that's why I know best. Sometimes I think there's a lot of broken people that are not even aware about how broken they are. Mm -hmm. Like in conversation, something really unacceptable will be mentioned. And then they'll be like, yeah, but it was Osha back then, Sha. Like clearly they haven't addressed it. And they can't even connect that because of that traumatic experience. I could be displaying A, B, C, and D um, behaviors. But you hear people just say things like, that's just how I am. This is just how I am. I don't know why I do that, but I just do that. And... I don't think we have a lot of like emotionally aware people, um, but as much as I agree with her, I think until mental health um, services are cheap, it's never going to happen. Mm. Nigeria is too need-driven to look at all the things that we really need to do. Like mental health, unfortunately, comes very low on the list. So by the time they finish trying to like pay for bills and eat and shelter and just basic stuff. So, I don't know, except we can start to do more government initiatives where it's free to be able to talk to someone or there's a line that you can call. That way it's easier for people to volunteer without actually mm. being somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't come really cheap, but um, it's not as expensive. It's like, quite affordable. because It's quite affordable date, because that's something you used to. Date some <laughs> girl who was a guidance counsellor. Okay. Right? Mm. And um, she was the one that recommended where I went to when I spoke to a boss. Already, she was already like a therapist to me because anytime I feel a little bit down, come, come, come and sit down, let's talk. <laughs> and I'm like, do you understand? <laughs> let's talk. So she recommended it. And when I went there, I didn't pay for the service though, mm -hmm. but it was quite cheap because they gave me the brochure List, yeah. and all that. You pay so, hourly or something. Yeah, depends so on was, how long you want to cheap, spend. So it's not um, that but it's no. what, my own concern. Well, it was cheap for me, and even I'm not, what, I, what I was going to is even those that can't afford it don't see it as necessary. Like they disregard mm. it, which is what she's actually trying yeah. to say. It's not just now. It's not even now going down to those that cannot afford it. We know, of course, there are so many people that cannot afford it. Actually, us now being the capital of poverty in the yeah. world, you know, we know there are people. But even those that can't afford it don't understand the need, um, need for it. And um, my own concern, even as we get towards the part where we begin to understand mental health properly, yes, I know we'll get there no matter how long it will take, is the unprofessionalism that comes into everything that has to do with Nigeria. So mm. over there, yeah, I'm you getting go to a, judged. Do you know you go to a therapist and you know that this is confidential, even if the whole of CIA and CID or whatever comes to them, mm. you have to actually go to a competent judge who would now agree that it is possible. And sometimes you can never even get mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. right to get into that. But That's if <laughs> here yeah, you don't even need all that, you will see the therapist that will go and tell the neighbor that hmm, ha. you do know LC came in today. I mean, the, our level of opportunism yeah. in, in everything, if we bring Bring it into this space yeah. is going to even break people yeah. more, and that. I hope let's, that let's even, they can even yeah. have an association or have a body that can actually hold them accountable. Because I have a lot of bodies here let's that are holding anything accountable. Let's even ignore the professionalism. Let's talk about the judgy, judgy culture we have in and this the part of the world. You think person judging? You know, you like you'll be telling somebody that okay, so I have this problem. I'm like, hmm. okay, go on. Okay, we need to go on a quick break because I think Ife has a lot of experience in this area, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 
will euch nie Welcome back. This is Silty Time on Plus TV Africa. Okay, so now this tweet actually got our attention. It says Netflix generation, Netflix generation are so lucky. Do you know how hard it was to watch movies as a millennial? Go and borrow from Video Club and put inside VHS player. Nepal will take light for one week, making it difficult for you to return it. Dark times. <laughs> and like real dark times. Because there are times when the video club lady has had to come to my house and then you have to unscrew the DVD mm. oh, wow. and bring out the No, it's CD. not that serious now. You just ah, have to pay. You, you have to pay when for each time. When you don't have money, go. Ah. Oh, you do. Mm. You unscrew but the DVD. But that was a struggle. Like, yeah, that was I, a struggle. I, <laughs> I, I know this new generation babies probably won't understand. No, they just yeah. call them Netflix do you, generation. Do you remember the one before CDs, the, the tapes? Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's the um, mm. what's it called now? Is that the VHS itself? That's VCD now. No, no, no. Eh? The tape, the oh, no, like physical tape now that it's had called... two scrolly things, and then Actually, you now stop pretending. <laughs> and I'm trying to understand the guy. The so one that like, you put yeah, inside, that you put inside the tape with the, still the VHS thing. It's the VHS one, like now. black, That's like VHS. black box, like yeah. Rectangle. Now it's just the one we had is just one. It doesn't have. Um, double. No, but the holes the rollers, inside, the, the rollers tapes. inside, the I tape. Do, I do not know. <laughs> All yes. I know is the shower, black what and did you call box it? and VHS. VHS, it's yeah. VHS. That's the mm -hmm. VHS one. That's the one you put mm. inside. And but that well, one you, when can, you want to rewind. No matter it, how yeah, you unscrew, yeah, yeah, so that one we try yeah. though. No matter oh, how you gosh. unscrew, you mm. must cut something because the tape has already gone round. I think people so they call electricians. They made more money at that time because <laughs> you are always taking that thing back to them. So when DVD was gone. in vogue, that was the one we could unscrew and mm. bring out your CD. Oh yeah, it's CD. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine the trouble you cost because of this thing. No, well, I even people, there's still people that are still. Living like that, it. yes. No, what so, the rent is CD now. Yeah, no, I'm talking about CDs in, in, in regards to what she okay, said. That yeah. Some people till today, till today are still uh, watching DVDs. Yes, I think... D okay, DVDs, yeah. okay. DVDs, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I've, VCDs I've, still exist. Those shops are still there. I'm sure if I go there. to my family house, I'll still find a VCD. No, not a VHS, a VCD. Of course, that still exists, yeah. Yeah. So you find people who have the shops that are still there. So I'm thinking if, you're, if your shop is open... The no, 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 there are people who still live this life, actually. Just that it's not as hectic as, uh, <laughs> as when it gets stuck for one week. Think, now they yes. can just turn on the gen. And I mean, how phone. many families had generators at the time? Even if you were middle class, it was not really so necessary. And then there was timing for generators. Uh -huh. Can you go and put on gen before 9 p.m.? How? Where? Really? What's really? I don't know that one. She's a, she's a posh baby. She's no, a posh, posh baby. She doesn't understand. understand. Like, the but I mean, it was nostalgic. At a and time. I, mm. I, I enjoyed thinking about it, reminiscing about it. Like, hmm, mm. go and rent movies. Those are good Let's old go days. The best How much was it? The best yeah. struggle comparison. Adult food is a trap, though. The better struggle comparison is the one where you're watching TV mm -hmm. on, like, a national... They're, they're the ones controlling it. And you have a break time. Mm -hmm. So you have to run quickly, grab all things you need to do. If you need to eat... Grab and play, you know, mm -hmm. run back so that you can catch that thing. Mm -hmm. Now imagine when Empire now takes the light in the middle of it. Like mm -hmm. that was more and when, intense um, for but now you can TV just stations record. Yeah. resume or they start at 4 p.m. So we we'll start and wait. We sing the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the color that. bars come through. Yeah. Yeah. No, the color bars is tell you that it's time is it's time. Do you guys think time. that that period helped people to bond a little more? Yeah, because I think we were almost watching the same thing. Yeah. And then I think if I was watching I like TV, one, yes. of course, definitely the fact that you watch Voltron means that I watched Voltron. And about. then back then, yeah. and then back then, because of family show, you see a lot of people sitting Tales together. By mm. You know, you see you sitting with your siblings and your mm. father. And your mother, but, but now right you now have a close you can be in your room. Your like, brother is not seeing the same show yeah, you're seeing. She's watching a completely different series and one movie that you've never heard of. It's very hard. I'm mm. even talking about family bonding now mm -hmm. because um, then you had to sit down in the living room to watch with your family. But right now, I can just go on and whatever when we come platform. Back from school is cartoon time. Yes, on whatever is. platform. Silver, Silver, I never like cartoon. Silver, Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Um, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Voltron. Voltron. Gang, gang, gang. Dun, dun. Okay, let's move okay. on. We've just <laughs> on this. Um, this is a first friend, 50 Cent. Showing T.I. for challenging him to um, versus battle. You think... It's not even about 50 Cent. I just love T.I., man. Mm. T.I. is... My own the is, is, why is... There is nobody that has challenged him that is up to him. So who exactly... 
50 cents. 50 cents, cents now. Uh, obviously, when Jaru did it, I think because they, 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 they are loggerheads with each other. Jaru has beef with him. So nice, yeah. Is there anyone that doesn't no, have beef they have, with they have 50 cents? Exactly. So, so, so in his 50 mind, 50 cents is so petty that he's probably not going to respond to anybody he has beef with. He's not that type of team player that mm. he, because we Definitely. have beef and we just for the culture. It's for the culture, yeah. He's not going to do it for the culture. <laughs> he's going to do it because we're friends, because we're guys, because I feel like you're up to and my because standard. And because I mean, you're maybe his little ego is also not shaken by it. Because I'm like, sure he like wouldn't go for somebody like, who he actually thinks So who really in the like industry? Is so firm and strong. Like if an Eminem should come like 50, uh, let's do a battle right now, he will jump. Do you understand? But T.I. will that battle would... Eminem. <laughs> Let me drink. No, T.I. Like... wants to but He said he should come with all the songs from, because Eminem was the one who found 50 You know, I've always said that this this battle idea is, is confusing and it's stressful. It's mm. lame. Because it's not like it, the real battle that we know where yeah. you're spitting rhymes on the... At the at the point there, they are giving you beats, mm. or they're not even giving you beats. You are doing on your the song beats, that was you know. For you. So you can choose, you can choose the songs you want to come mm -hmm. to the battle with. I think it's usually ten or thereabouts. So choose your biggest hits, choose your best, and anybody can best anybody as long as you have ten, yeah. ten good songs. Even if the remaining ninety you have, yeah, a, a terrible, well, a terrible. Exactly. You can win. So mm. this battle, the way they are even taking it to heart, I mean, it was something that was started to help us enjoy the quarantine and all that. So it's not that deep. So fifty, if he wants to do one, he should. If he doesn't want to do this, he's not shading people. It's not that. Well, it's not it, such a big it, deal. It shades like. to T.I. kind of entered Shah because T.I. looked kind of wasted as well when he was yeah. doing all of those things. Mm. So, And if you've watched um, Friday, you would know about the weed the guy took in that mm -hmm. particular movie. So <laughs> T.I. acted exactly like that dude, to be honest. But what T.I. was saying was apt, man. Like, I'm not even going to lie. That's one guy mm. that is not scared of 50 Cent. He was 100% about it and he kept his real. 100. So 50 cents, stop being a B and just go for it. Okay, so um, to wrap up, um, there's a pastor, is it in Ghana or where? Sonia, he, um, Sonny Badu. Badu. He says, don't marry a man just because of love. He will put you in debt. Marry him for his vision, not his romance. Um, so, quote, as a woman, you just don't go to any marriage because you are in love. He bought me a gift and he's so nice. Your destiny has everything to do. You have to be strategic. Yeah, I think this reminds me of the conversation we had when the lady was saying that... Um, Petish, uh, uh, pension plan. Yeah, uh, yeah, the the retirement plan, plan. Retirement plan and you. where you took the conversation from. So that's basically where he's coming from mm -hmm. and saying, when you're choosing a life partner, you have to be very strategic about it. And I think I agree because mm -hmm. a lot of things come to play. Everything that makes a human being comfortable in life comes to play. Mm -hmm. Your attitude, your... Um, outlook on life, your finances, your values, everything has to be questioned and you understand if you can actually endure. You are not supposed to endure a marriage, but like the ones, I mean, nobody can be 100% anyway. So if this person checks out eight boxes or seven, and you know it's three, can you endure that three yeah. for the rest of your life? And do you think you can, people can walk around it to be good? So I think I agree with him. Um, yeah, maybe if I watch the full clip, I might not totally agree because with him. Because of what, the, how he I mean, says it. Yeah. But the cuts that I'm seeing, it makes sense for a woman and even a man. Because yeah. I also do not like that he was just being particular. Well, it was women. a women event, I to think. Be fair. Yeah, to be fair. But I think it works both ways. And if you make a mistake in your choosing your life partner, even though I, I believe that anybody can rise above any mistake, come out of it if you can and move on, but it's it will marry you to a certain degree and it's just important to I like think the fact that, that you just made it balanced because um I want a lot of people to know that men we are also tired of liability women. We don't want to marry women that are not bringing anything to the table anymore. You also have to have some type of value you're bringing in because they make it look like it's a man. Yeah. It's a woman who has to go be strategic about choosing a life partner. A man has but to. a man also has to be very strategic. I don't want a woman calling me in between my meeting that there's no pure water at home. No, go out there and get yourself. Do you understand? Okay, very quickly, we need to go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just saying, like, something as little yeah. as pure water, you're calling me for yeah. that. You're able to stand for yourself. Yeah. yeah. I think um, one thing I liked about it, I remember in the last conversation, I don't know who was saying, but 
They're saying you should marry for love, you should marry for love. And I don't think so. I think that's a very immature way to look at it because if it was just love, I don't think you need to marry because marriage is an institution that has legal and business and social and a lot of other allies that you can think of binding you together. So if you're not going to be ready to walk into that with some type of strategy, goal, aim, focus, boundaries, then I think, you know, you're, you're not really... You should, yeah, you're not, you're not yeah. really ready to be married you know and you just date go. each other for companionship. Mm. So Unfortunately, we have go. to go, yeah. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Of course, we would love to know what you think about our conversation. So do send us your message via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by visiting our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu yes, and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa State Time. My name is Elsa Godwin. Please do stay safe. Thank you.